Welcome back. This is part three of our geometry video where we've been talking about reflections and rotations, dilations and translations using matrices. We had just finished going through each of the different types of matrices and talking about what that means in terms of moving around our values within our quadrilateral or triangular uh, matrices that we have. And we talked about how these are our um, activities that we want to do, a reflection over y equals x or a reflection over the x-axis or a reflection of y equals minus x. And in order to do that, we take this given matrix and we multiply it times the matrix of our uh, quadrilateral triangle or whatever other shape that we have. So if we are doing a reflection over y equals x, you can see here that this matrix tells us that we simply need to uh, flip the top row and the bottom row. And then we will have the new coordinates uh, for our shape after it's been reflected over y equals x. If we're doing a reflection over the x-axis, then what we want to do is if we look here, we see that we do not flip the rows because the one starts on the left. It's not like this one where the zero started. So we do not flip the rows, but we do change all the signs on the bottom row to their opposites. When we reflect over y equals negative x, um, you can see we actually have to flip the rows and flip all the signs. For a reflection over the y-axis, we look at this matrix and we see that we do not flip the top and bottom row because of the one starts here on the left, but we do need to take that whole top row and change their signs to the opposite. For a rotation of 90 degrees, uh, we need to, looking at this, we are going to be switching the rows. Uh, the top row becomes the bottom row and the bottom row becomes the top. And then our new top row has all of its signs changed. Uh, similarly, a rotation of 180 degrees, which is the same as a rotation over origin, requires us to flip um, or change the signs of all the numbers, but we do not need to actually flip the rows. Um, and the rotation of 270 degrees, again this one would be uh, because it starts with the zero, we are going to flip the top and bottom row, change those um, with each other, swap them out, and then take your new bottom row and change everyone's signs to their opposite. So just a couple examples to conclude here. Let's say I had this triangle with the coordinates uh, 2 comma 5 for point A, 1 comma negative 2 for point B, and negative 2 comma 3 for point C. And I want to do a rotation of 270 degrees. Well, I would go and I would select my matrix that corresponds to a rotation of 270 degrees, which is this one here and I would multiply it by the matrix that corresponds with these values, remembering that all of the first coordinates here are your x values and they go across the top, and the bottom numbers are your y values and they go across the bottom. I could enter this into my calculator and have it go ahead and do the uh, multiplication, but we've already talked about how we can just look at this matrix and know what to do. Since the zero starts it off, then the first thing we want to do is we're going to flip, we're going to take the bottom row and we're going to move it up top and we're going to take the top row and we're going to move it in the bottom. Then after that we notice there's a negative on the bottom, so then that bottom row, all those signs have to be switched to their opposite. Um, similarly for a reflection over the y-axis, you can see we're going to pick that matrix and multiply it times the triangle. And we would not switch the rows, but we would make all the signs in the top row their opposites. So we hope you enjoyed this lesson and will visit us at www.apex-math.com and see what other products um, we have to offer and you can get